Good morning. Hey, everybody. I'm Anna Gibbs, and this is Monday Morning Mojo. I hope everyone is having a good morning. You know, when we started this journey, I think it was May 28th, um, 7.30 was bright and sunny. <laughs> and now 7.30, it, good morning, good morning, everyone. 7.30 uh, may look a little different outside, especially today in the Northeast, it is raining. And yet yeah, still a beautiful day if you decide to make it so. Um, personally, I love the rain. I think there's uh, something really cleansing and, and beautiful about the rain. So uh, again, happy Monday. It's the start of another new week. I'm happy to be here with you guys to share some thoughts and to really inspire you to have a different perspective through these conversations. So I invite you to um, settle in if you have your coffee, enjoy that this morning, maybe grab some paper and pen, you might wanna take some notes. And um, what we're gonna talk about today uh, is, is a topic that was, um, I was inspired to share with you this morning by a dear friend of mine, Valerie. So if she's watching uh, this morning, good morning, I love you. Uh, and I'm sure she'll catch it later if it's not live right now. Um, and good morning everyone on Facebook. Make sure you tell us you're there and, and say hi there too. Um, but my friend Val uh, actually shared something that resonated with her during um, a, a church service that she was attending yesterday an online service regardless. Um, and I connected with it because I believe this is such an important topic and it's about asking the right questions. And I think that questions, um, especially really powerful questions reveal important information. So I'm gonna ask you to sit back and think of that for a minute and ponder what questions are you asking yourself? And if you are taking notes, I'm gonna ask you to write this down. Am I asking the right questions of myself? Am I asking questions that will move my life forward? Am I asking questions that will inspire me? Am I asking questions that will allow me to take maybe a hard look at, at where I need to grow? And so we're going to jump right into this. And, you know, Socrates, many of you know, Socrates is a um, timeless philosopher. Um, he, uh, one of his quotes that resonates with me uh, is, is this, the unexamined life is not worth living. The unexamined life is not worth living. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you know, are we taking time to sit and really reflect are we looking at uh, what is happening around us and, and really trying to, to ponder it and look at it in a way that reveals something that gives us answers that move us forward? And, and what does it all mean and what does it matter? Those are great questions to ask yourself. What does it mean and what does it matter? So I'm gonna share with you some, some other powerful questions. And, and so many of you know I'm a coach and coaches speak in the form of a question 99% of the time, right? And so we ask questions of you to get you to think. We ask, as a coach, I ask questions to cause a timeout in your thinking. I call it a pattern interrupt. So I'll ask questions that get you to stop and say, oh, Maybe I didn't think of it that way before. I ask questions that get you to self-discover some things that you might need to take action on. I ask questions that, that maybe you need to ask yourself uh, to really uh, you know, give yourself an opportunity to say, you know, what, what is getting in my way? So the, the more powerful the question, the more powerful the answer. The deeper the question, the deeper the answers. And so I'm gonna ask you guys to write down a few questions. And the reason why I love this topic for a Monday Morning Mojo is because, again, you have the ability to decide right now the type of day you're gonna have. You have the ability to make a decision about your behavior and your responses to things around you any minute of the day. And you get to decide how you want to show up in this world. Do you want to be that person who is open to possibility? Do you want to be that person who is looking at the core 
the core values that you have and, and looking to line that up in everything that you do? Are you the kind of person who sees other people at their core or are you sitting in judgment? Are you making a judgment call and an assumption about someone's character or behavior based on what you see in a split second, right? Even if you're spending an afternoon with someone, are you really seeing the whole picture? So these questions and the answers that you get to these questions will change your life. And I think that's the other part of it. We have to sit long enough to get some answers and we have to allow ourselves the time to search for those answers. So here's the first question. If you're taking notes, I would invite you to write down and I'll, I'll put this on the Facebook group too. Um, where do I want to be? So this is the first question I'm going to have you write down. Maybe you wrote down a couple of the other ones, right? Um, where do I want to be in the next year, the next five years, the next 10 years? And I understand life is unpredictable. We spent a lot of time talking about how unpredictable 2020 has been. And I understand that. However, where do you want to put some design into your life? Where would you like to uh, set some goals and intentions and more importantly, an action plan? I think it was just last week we talked about being actionable. And so where do you create this vision? Where do you start thinking ahead of, of where you are right now and looking at your future self? Because without goals, right, we know that we have no destination. If we get in the car and we have um, a mission to get somewhere, do we not have a, a map or a planned out route? Or do we just get in the car and drive around aimlessly? So our life is no different. Our life is so important. So where are your goals? Where is your own GPS? Where would you like to move forward in the next year? What areas of your life do you want to set goals in? Where do you want to see yourself? Do you want your life to be somewhat unrecognizable? Do you want to see such transformation that people around you are wondering what's going on there? That's, that's pretty exciting stuff. Right. And then can you pan out from there? Do you want to move forward and see how your life will grow in three years, in five years? Some people create the vision work backwards. We like to call that reverse engineering. So here's the thing uh, that is important to recognize about this exercise that individuals who set goals are more likely to achieve them than people who don't. And the, the people who set goals are 10 times like more likely to amass uh, wealth in their life than those who don't. So create a goal today. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to be in a year from now, three years from now, five years from now, maybe even 10 years from now? And I know that for a lot of you, that could be a stretch. Uh, but we've talked about this on Mojo before. Let your imagination help you. Let your imagination work for you. All right, here's another question I'm going to encourage you to write down. And, and again, maybe you're going to choose just one of these questions and start journaling on it this week. It doesn't have to be where you take all this in at once. I do like to provide a lot of content, but that's so you can start to chew it down, chunk it down, and decide how you're going to use it. Because remember, we can't eat an elephant all in one bite. So here's the next question. Um, and it's kind of a part two to the first question. So this last question I just uh, put in front of you. So where will your life be in one, five, 10 years, whatever that number is, uh, if you continue doing what you're doing today? Now that's a powerful question because some of you are gonna realize, okay, this is good, I'm on track. And if I keep doing what I'm doing, I'm building to that goal. Yet others might ask themselves that question and in an honest, vulnerable space, come up with the answer that says, I may need, to have, may need to make some shifts. I, if I continue this particular activity or habit, maybe it's procrastination or, or whatever that might be, uh, I could see that I'm not gonna get where I need to be, right? So that's a powerful question, is if you continue doing what you're doing today, where will you be in a year from now? Will you be closer to your goal or have achieved your goal uh, working on the next goal? Or do, does that question reveal something that maybe you need to change? 
Um, another question that I would ask myself is what is my big why? We've spent some time talking about that here on Monday Morning Mojo. You can go back through the page or on my YouTube channel. There's um, the videos of every session is there uh, and there's exercises that we've talked about in helping you identify your purpose and then identifying your big why. And your big why is really the fuel in your engine, right? It's really giving you the clarity to know what is worth pursuing because it lines up with your big why. And so that, that, that is the question, right? I mean, so an unexamined life, like Socrates is talking about, uh, what a tragedy, because then you can't reveal these amazing uh, answers that give you insight into where you want to go and what you want to accomplish. Okay, write this question down now and put a star next to it. Are you ready? Do I worry too much about what others think of me? Do I worry too much about what others think of me? Now, I have to be just very transparent and tell you that I have worked on this my entire life and still do, and still do. I'm here, I, I, I love people. I find my success is achieved through helping other people succeed. So people and connection with people is a big part of what I do. I'm here to serve, I'm here to support. And of course, at the end of it all, human beings are just, social people, right? We're social creatures. Um, and so I have really wrestled with this and still do. I still worry about sometimes what other people think. And I realize uh, that uh, what I've gotten good at is catching myself and saying, you know what, what other people think of me is none of my business. I need to get up every day with my purpose and intention. I believe that I have the right intentions for me. And then I just have to follow through on, on being who I am and realizing that other people's assessments, judgments, opinions are really none of my business. And so if any of you are, are, are struggling with that, um, you know, this is a great question for you to give a little thought to. Uh, Allison, I see your comment, but I don't see her in the waiting room. So maybe if you could let Jill know to log off and log back on, see if we can get her in. So why do we worry so much about what other people think? You know, why are we affected by uh, the need to be accepted so much? And for some of us, that's a great question to ask. Like, where did that really come from? Um, and, and why do we feel like there's always this ex expectation, right? People put on these social expectations. And, and here's the thing, we can never really predict what other people are thinking. We my, this, So uh, I love, again, I shout out to my friend Val. We had this conversation last night. And you know, sometimes you think everyone is, is sitting around wondering or thinking about you or the last thing you did or said, and they're really at home in their PJs, like enjoying TV and a cup of coffee or a glass of wine. <laughs> Their life's going on. They're not giving it a second thought. Well, we carry it with us for some reason. So how do we let go of that? How do we let go? And do I worry too much about what other people think? That's a great question that you may want to meditate or journal on. I have two more questions for you. Okay, here's the next one. Why not? How many times have you asked yourself that question? Why not? You know, when you, were kid, when you were a kid, you probably were a lot braver than you are today for some reason, many of us, right? So when we were, yeah, Allison's saying, yeah. When we were kids, that was our, why not? Let's do it. Today, are you still that free? Are you still that free in your thoughts? Are you still willing to take a risk once in a while? Uh, and of course, you know, maybe you're going to um, put a little um, exploration into the process before, but sometimes, it, what, why not? You know, are we looking to lead our lives in an average way? Or are we really striving to be extraordinary? I'm striving to be extraordinary. I, I am, I'm here one time and I'm looking to make this the best party I've ever been to. Uh, and I'm sure there's a bigger, better party waiting for me on the other side and I'm looking forward to that. Yet here I am today, right now here, and on this path of, of, I think, a life by design where I want to live and experience an extraordinary life. So do you ask yourself enough, why not? 
or do you tense up and do you allow fear to take control and for you to fall into that pattern of, oh, I couldn't possibly, right? So why not? Ask yourself that question more often, why not? The last question today that I'm gonna give you to think about is, is this question. Do I care more about how my life looks or how it feels? Do I care more about how my life looks or how it feels? So I, I use social media as a platform to communicate and reach out to you guys and others. And I think it's awesome. Yet, you know, sometimes it can also be overwhelming because we can be, uh, scrolling through and scrolling through and seeing all these images and seeing all these these posts that that then suddenly makes us feel like we need to compare our life to what we're seeing so is it more important to you as to how your life looks and what people perceive it to look like or is it more important about how it feels are you pursuing a career because it's what is expected of you or are you pursuing a career that sets your soul on fire? Are you hanging out with people because they've been your friends forever? Or are you seeking out new friendships because they stimulate thought, they, they, they align up with your values? And I'm not saying walking, yeah, walking away from old friendships. I have old dear friendships. Uh, yeah, am I, am I seeking to expand and have new experiences too? Sure. So what is more important for you? Is it more important for your life to look a certain way or for you to feel a certain way as you live your life every day, right? Because our emotions key us into a lot. And do we compare our insides to someone else's outsides? That's a big question as well. So I wanted to put these out there to you today uh, because it's a great way to start the week. Here is my, my, um, my uh, suggestion for you is to take one question <laughs> of, of what I just threw at you so fast in 20 minutes. Take one question. Uh, right now, if you wrote notes down, uh, play the video back and <clears throat> ask yourself, you know, what is the most important question I could ask myself? See, it's always about a question, right? You have to ask yourself the question before you choose the question. Choose one question you, that you want to meditate on, journal, and make that your focus for the week. Make that the focus for the week right? Because what does it matter? What does it mean? And am I asking myself the right questions? So Sarah, I see your hand up. You're muted, Sarah. Let me see if I can unmute you. There you are. Good morning. Um, uh, I just want to um, give some appreciation to everybody here for the mojo uh, because I had a have just been journaling my tail off and um, had a really serious breakthrough this past week um, about you know patterns that old family patterns that have gotten stuck in work relationship stuff and um, anyway um, I'm not sure where it's going but it's going it's going in a better direction than it was. So that's incredible. That's great. Mm -hmm. and thank you for sharing. Is that a result of some things we've talked about here on Mojo? Yes. That's awesome. That's yes. great. That's that you made my day. That's why I do this. This is why I scurry around at 630 to get in the shower and make sure I look a little better than I did when I first got up. So thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Awesome. Does anyone else have any um, thoughts about the topic this morning? Any ahas? Or would you like to share the question you're going to work on this week? I always love hearing from you guys. I appreciate those of you on Zoom, this, on Zoom with me this morning and everybody watching on Facebook too. If you're on Facebook, if you can put in the comments, what question are you going to focus on this week? Anyone here want to share anything? A little quiet this morning, that's okay. Okay, so choose the question that really resonates with you. Choose that question. I would dedicate some time to looking at it, exploring it, really examining my feelings, 
And, and even as things start to come to the surface and you write them down, I'm going to say to, to ask a, another question around what's coming up. Remember, why does it matter? What does it mean? So that you can really get into like that exploration and really help yourself move forward. Questions are so powerful. Again, the more powerful the question, the more powerful the answer. Questions will move our life forward. And, you know, again, the beauty of life is to examine it, is to take some time to really understand what's happening around you, understand what makes you tick, uh, and really look at how our thoughts and how we examine things move us forward, but really reveal our full potential. So I love you all. Have a happy uh, rest of your day. Have an awesome week. And I'll post some of these questions on the Facebook page and, you know, you can play this video back and, and like I said, really invest in yourself and put some time into you because you matter. That's, 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 you know, what does it matter? It's you, you matter. So have an awesome week. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next week.